so in this video i will tell you how to download a file uh, if you know the url for that particular file uh, using react native's new architecture with turbo modules so first of all i have created a default react native project next uh, you have to enable the new architecture for android and ios so for android what you have to do is go to android and just search for new arc enabled so i have just searched for new arc enabled go to gradle.properties make it as true and for ios you can cd to your ios directory and run this command so when you run this command you might face two issues one of the issues could be related to this so to resolve this just cd back to your uh, root of your react native project and just run this command uh, once you run this uh, try running uh, back that ios command by seeding back to ios and run this command and it might uh, resolve for you but another uh, other issue which you might face is this so if you face this issue i already have a video on my channel explaining how to resolve this issue the so you might uh, want to try running this or might want to have a look at other answers how to resolve this issue uh, yeah so once uh, this issue is uh, once you are able to successfully run this command just run yarn ios or yarn android and inside the metro bundler you should see fabric colon true which means the new architecture has been enabled for your react native app uh, next for turbo native modules we have to create this folder uh, so but they mention that create this folder outside the root of your react native project but according to me that is incorrect and you will face a lot of issues it's better to create it inside of inside your react native project so I have created a folder called RTN My Downloader. So you can create this folder and create Android, iOS, and JS folder for now. Uh, so inside the JS, you have to uh, write this, uh, create this file native my downloader.ts. And here I have copied everything from the documentation, which you can see over here. Uh, only thing that has been changed is this file name and the method i have changed so i am passing the url file name and extension from react native side itself but uh, you can change it according to whatever you want and okay uh, next go to the main android folder go to build.gradle and you have to add this uh, for uh, using kotlin as i want to use kotlin and not java so add these two lines and go to app build.gradle uh, you have to add this kotlin standard libs as well as you have to add this apply plugin kotlin android once you are done with this uh, go back to the documentation and you have to create this package.json file uh, this should be a sibling to your js folder and not inside your js folder so i have created this file again copied it from the documentation only thing change is this name and this has been changed as well as well as this has been changed name and uh, this has been changed the package name once uh, that is done you have to create this pod spec file again uh, i have copied this from the documentation only thing has been changed is this name once you are done with this for android you have to create build.gradle as well as you have to create src main this folder structure so go to android create build.gradle again i have copied this from documentation thing that has been changed is this pack namespace as well as i have added this uh, kotlin uh, standard lib apply plugin and kotlin standard lib as well as uh, we require the life cycle dependency as well because we want to use uh, coroutines mm, so we have copied this next we have to create this for so create src main java com rtn my downloader and inside that create this file my downloader my downloader package.kt and again i copied it from the documentation only thing that you have to change for now is instead of returning like this you have to do a return null because the reason being you have not yet run the code gen uh, so you have to do return null for now okay for both the methods now for ios you have to run this command but make sure you don't add double dot because we only had we need we need only single dot because we have created this folder inside the root of your react native project so i will go to uh, 
app.tsx I will show you so you have to run this command okay next you have to do cd dot dot that is move outside your react native project and run this command but the command is slightly changed for our use case so you have to run something like this so this will be your react native project name this is react native project name this is react native project name followed by your folder name so once you are done with this uh, okay so you have for ios you have to create this file so f uh, as i will be using swift for this so what i have done is that i have opened this main ios folder uh, inside xcode then uh, i have created uh, this file first create this file rtn my downloader.h and again copied it from documentation only thing that has been changed is this file name as well as this name has been changed and then you have to create this rtn my downloader .mm. uh, create write this name and you have to add uh, for now uh, so first before for this you have to create a swift file so i have created this swift file and so once you are trying to create a swift file via xcode it will ask whether you want to create an uh, bridging header as well so just click on yes and it automatically creates this file for you okay so whatever so whatever uh uh, the other important thing is uh, once you create this objective c file make sure the extension is dot mm and just not dot m like there is no way in xcode to create an objective c plus plus file so first you have to create an objective c file and then manually change the extension to dot mm again make sure you create all this file via xcode otherwise you will face issue so once your bridging header is created so whatever is your bridging headers first uh, name so mine is rn app so you have to write over here then dash swift dot h and again this has been copied it from documentation uh, and this has been copied from documentation and over here uh, this has been uh, so whatever your swift file name is mine is my downloader dot swift so I have creating an object of our swift file okay next I have copied this from documentation only thing changes this name and here we are overriding the download file name for download file method which we have created in the interface and here you can see we are calling the download file method of uh, swift so we are calling my downloader download file with URL passing the URL file name and file extension and for resolving like I'm not passing anything because uh, it's very difficult to pass uh, values uh, from Swift to Objective-C once they are inside the completion handler uh, that's why I'm not passing any value I'm just resolving this but yeah you might uh, like for now I don't know how to pass a value from completion handler of Swift to Objective-C++ but if you know you can uh, comment down uh, below the video so i so for uh, for now i'm just resolving the promise and if now if you go to my downloader.swift first is you have to add this imports make sure you had this at the rate object to see members and uh, this is our N import from ns object and now this code i have just copied it from documentation only important thing which you might need to know is that you have while creating the file name you need to add this uuid because if you suppose you downloaded a file uh, then if you try to download the same file again with the same file name then it will you will face issues so that's why to make uh, each file download uh, unique i have added this uuid so that we don't face this issue uh, so it this up just appends a random uh, id to our file name but uh, if you don't want this uuid then you might have to write a code of uh, you know deleting this file first from temporary storage 
and if this if there is a file with the same name and once you delete it then you can uh, create the uh, create a new file with the same file name otherwise if you don't delete this file you will face issue like i was having trouble deleting this file that's why i have added a uuid for it next again like i this url session is for downloading a particular file and like i have copied this code from stack overflow so yeah if you uh, like the other important thing is w once you have the file with you uh, then you are using this R rct presented view controller that's why we have imported react and this will present the view uh, to the user to save the file and if there are some kind of errors you can just uh, reject it but for now i am just printing it to the console and don't forget to write this task dot resume otherwise your task will never start that means your downloading will never start so once you are done this for the ios part so for android uh, what you have to do is uh, again run this command inside the root of your react native project then cd to your android folder main android folder and run this command so this would uh, do code generation for android as well uh, next uh, what you have to do is uh, go to the main android folder uh, app src main res uh, create a folder called xml and inside that you have to write provider underscore pass dot xml and write this bit of code like this is necessary for saving something to the downloads folder next you have to go to uh, android manifest dot xml and here make sure you have the internet permission and he in, and you also have to write this bit of code okay uh, next uh, so for now i am using android t and android uh, the way i have written code is android t does not require the right permission right to external storage but if you are using android uh, q i think it is android q or less then you might need the android right permission as well and i have already covered how to ask for any permission dynamically at runtime so i have a video for it on my channel so you can check that out uh, if you want to support android q or below i think so I, I will tell you so for now just go to my downloader package.kt and instead of returning null you can write this bit of code okay once you have done that you go to create this file my downloader module.kt and now uh, most of this code is copied from documentation and other is copied from stack overflow like uh, you have to write this uh, long piece of code like i'm using download manager but yeah like i won't be able to explain all of it because even i don't understand my, like all of it but uh, like i will tell you what are the important things you have to be careful of so here we are using the download manager i think so here you can see and here we are copying the file to download so here i was telling you right so i'm using android t so for me this code runs uh, while saving a file to the downloads folder so i don't require the uh, android write to external storage permission but if you are running android q or below you need to add the write to external storage and then first requ request access to the write to external storage uh, before you run this bit of command so i already have a video on my channel on how to get uh, runtime permissions in android uh, so next you have to write uh, this bit of code and here is the download file we are creating the file name over here and we are registering the receiver and then calling the download method and here it will just start downloading the file and this is like a bit of uh, it depends on where you are trying to download so like uh, this is yeah this is very difficult for even me to understand but i think you can just copy paste the code if you want to like to be honest with you i have just copied it from stack overflow like um, android has made it extremely difficult to even download a file and save it to your downloads folder like downloading a file is not difficult saving it to the downloads folder is very difficult so yeah you can just copy paste the code if you want to so 
so I will uh, slowly scroll through the entire file okay so make sure you add this as well and the one thing which I want to uh, tell you guys is so here it uh, while uh, downloading it uh, ask you for a mime type for so for now I have just hard coded it but if you want you can send it from react native side as well like I know for now that I would be downloading a PDF file but if it is a text file for you or an image make sure you change the mime type over here as well okay once you are done just go to app.tsx and you can import it something like this and to use it I have just passed the URL uh, the file name and the extension okay and this will download a file for you so next you have to again run this command so go to app.tsx and make sure you run this command again and for ios you have to run this command uh, otherwise your code which you have written inside xcode will uh, i think it might be showing a lot of errors for you because you have not run this command so yeah make sure you run this command and make sure xcode is closed while running this command then you can open back xcode and uh, it will make sure that uh, all this uh, code is valid otherwise i think you might be facing a lot of uh, issues on these files okay so that will get resolved as soon as you run this command so i think that should be it thank you for watching bye